Hey y'all, I'm Senator Holly Thompson Rader from Southeast Missouri. This week in your Missouri Senate, we were able to get our bill perfected that allows foster children that are in foster care to be able to receive their social security benefits. So what I mean, and we've talked about before in the past, in the, in the past few weeks, is that some of our foster children are receiving social security checks because of a parent that has passed. What has happened until now is that the state absorbs that money. So we have some children paying for their foster benefits while the majority are not. What we really want to do is set that money aside so that when those kids are aging out of the foster system, they can have a little bit of a nest egg for maybe to pay for their first semester of college, maybe to pay for a laptop for school, maybe to pay for a car so that they can get back and forth to work. Regardless, that money is theirs and should be set aside for them. So it's been a little bit of an ugly process getting that bill out of the Senate. And the reason is, is that you have so many different amendments that folks want to put on a bill. And I'm okay with amendments, but what I said about this bill is it is for these foster care children. So what I had asked is that we only use amendments that we know are not controversial, that we can all agree upon, that are for children, and that we actually get this bill out of here with, with a very positive feel and, and not with putting anything on it that could harm it. What I don't want to happen is for someone to put an amendment on this bill, no matter how wonderful it is, but then it caused the bill to die and it not get to the governor's desk. So we had to lay the bill over, go back to the process, work on getting a couple of amendments off, out of the way, and the final product was really great, and, we, and, and the amendments are universally loved, and so that bill now heads to the House. Next week, we are hoping to have our bill banning child marriage come to the floor, and then we're also hoping to have our bill for our veterans come to the floor. And you've heard me talk about it as well. And that's a clinical study for our veterans with a Missouri University for psilocybin. Psilocybin is a natural therapeutic remedy that has for many years has shown excellent outcomes when it comes to PTSD, chronic depression, and substance use disorder. So what we want is for to get a Missouri study done so that our veterans can have that opportunity as well. I think it should be all hands on deck when it comes to our veterans. If we have something that is able to help them with the trauma that they have experienced for us, we need to be able to make that accessible to them. So we will have more information for y'all next week. Hope you enjoyed this recap.